Well, the search is over for a mother charged with killing her five year old son nearly two years ago. The boy was found inside of a suitcase in the woods in Indiana, but LAPD says his mother was located and arrested in Azusa after an incident last night. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen shows us how she was finally caught. Dijon Anderson is behind bars being interviewed by Indiana State Police detectives. It was a tip that led them and U.S. Marshals right here to this metro train platform, ending the two-year manhunt for her. It's one step closer in getting justice for five-year-old Cairo Jordan. His mother, the prime suspect in his death, now behind bars after being on the run for two years. A huge milestone. We have who we believe everybody to be involved in this uh, tragic murder case in custody at this time. The little boy from Atlanta was found dead inside a vibrant colored suitcase by mushroom hunters in Indiana back in April 2022. After months of investigation, detectives narrowed down the suspect list, putting Jordan's mother, Dijon Anderson, at the top. But it wasn't until earlier this week they got a major break. A tip thousands of miles away from a concerned citizen led them to this metro platform in Azusa, where they found Anderson trying to board a metro train. U.S. Marshals arrested her. She was mobile. She was walking uh, when she was taken into custody. Her arrest is a long time coming, not only for detectives, but Jordan's family, too. They say the little boy was loving and sweet. I would have wanted to know what kind of person he would have come to be. His death also rocked the small rural community where his body was found. They held a funeral for him so he would have a proper burial. While the arrest of his mother allows the next phase of justice to move forward, it's not lost on anyone the tragedy that happened at the expense of an innocent child. There was a ton of unknowns. We had no idea who we were dealing with. Uh, young Cairo, you know, was tragically taken without any any identification there with him. So we had a lot of work to do. In the end, it was good old fashioned police work that led to all these answers. Prosecutors are working on getting Anderson extradited back to Indiana within the next 30 days. Reporting in Azusa, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.